Hi guys, this is Brian, aka Jefferson at Rest. I'm here today with my first proper review video, and I'm going to be talking about the Palladium Baggy Leather Boots. I got these about two months ago in black. I think I got them for just under $100, and I think these are uh, pretty neat. I'll talk to you about some of the features, some of the things I do, some of the things I don't like, and then I'll just give you a quick uh, video of them actually on my feet. So the uh, Palladiums, like I said, I got these for about $100. That's probably the number one selling feature, or the number one feature that I like about them. I think they're a good alternative to like, uh, you know, a Clark's boot or like a Doc Martens or something. There's something a bit more unique than those. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with either of those boots, but um, you can get these for about the same price and uh, they have a bit more style, uniqueness to them. And uh, probably the main selling feature to them is their versatility. You can wear them up like this. This is the way I like. This is the way I always wear them. But they also have these snaps here and the the baggy leather, as they call it, so that you could fold them down for the, this sort of look. That if you're into this thing, you could uh, do that too. I <laughs> I've never worn mine like this before. I actually think it's a really bad look. But I think that when it's, you know, all the way up, I think that's pretty neat. So that was, that's what I use them for. Um, the leather is actually pretty uh, decent for it. I've been wearing it for the last about two months. Not every day, of course. I was a bit worried at first whenever I buy something online and just see the picture, you know. But it's, uh, it's worn in pretty well. But as for some of the things I don't like about the boot, this diamond print here... If you can see that right there, it's kind of between, you know, the sole and where the uh, leather starts up here. I, that gets dirty, like dirt and dust gets in between there, and it'll uh, attract a lot of unwanted attention to that area, and it kind of breaks up the somewhat sleekness of the boot, in my opinion. Also, another thing, on this rubber toe cap here, there's like a line between where they uh, molded it. You can see it right there, maybe. I think that... Uh, that's kind of disappoints me when I look down at my shoes. I don't mind the rubber toe cap as a whole. I know some people hate it, but that line right there really kind of ticks me off some time. And uh, one other thing I want to talk about with them is some people assume, oh, you know, it's a boot. I can wear it for winter. I would definitely not recommend doing that. I live in a somewhat cold uh, climate in the uh, Midwest, and my feet get pretty cold when I wear these, you know, when it's about like, you know, 10, 20 degrees or so. I will say they're relatively waterproof though. I know that's not what they're for. I've gotten a bit of snow on them before and no wetness inside or anything. I think they do sell a waterproof version though and some other versions with uh, better lining than just this canvas. Those might be warmer, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd go with Palladium for something winter. So now that I talked to you about just the regular boot, I'll show you what they look like on, uh, on feet. 